Hi there, this is Josh from Literary Gladiators, and today I am here with a book review. Uh, that book that I will be reviewing today is Andrew's Brain by E.L. Doctorow. Uh, Doctorow had just passed away uh, last summer, uh, and it was, uh, incidentally enough, uh, I bought this book at Barnes & Noble while I was hanging out with a friend the week before he passed away. And this... Uh, final novel of his really caught my attention. It was just just the whole psychological enigma, which that is what this novel is. Uh, you really don't know what you're getting yourself into until you start reading it. And that may be an issue for people, but for me, it was not necessarily that way. Uh, uh, Andrew's brain follows a man named Andrew, who is a cognitive scientist, who is engaged in a session with what we believe is a counselor. Uh, all we know is what Andrew refers to him as, and that is Doc. And Andrew tells him uh, his background, which includes... Uh, Two marriages, both of which have ended. The first one ended after the death of their infant daughter under his care. And the second one was to a woman named uh, Bryony, who he met when he was teaching a class on brain science at a college. And uh, the marriage was smoother, but ended in... Uh, Bryony's death, which at the beginning of the story, uh, Andrew is bringing their daughter to stay with his first wife, who is now with a larger, more flawed husband who deals with uh, alcoholism, which makes for an interesting uh, background of a story because uh, Andrew himself is an interesting individual to say the very least. We're getting, and on one hand you can feel pity for him and on the other hand he is a very, he's a very strange individual. The world has deemed him to be strange but Andrew may just be living in a strange world, for all we know. The biggest problem with this novel is that it does not really go far uh, below the surface. Uh, what you get is what you get. You don't really get so much of a background. But on the other hand, I think this novel is only meant to be... Uh, about Andrew and his questioning with the uh, person that is uh, conducting the session. I think the most important thing to know about this novel is that it is not about the development of a story or of a particular plot, but more so about the development that's going on in Andrew's mind. Uh, I will say that in one point of the story, he does randomly do a headstand. I'm not going to tell you when, and I'm not going to tell you why, because that is something that you would need to perceive for yourself. It is just absurdist genius, I would say, and that's probably why I enjoyed reading it. I like absurdism in the, the form of uh, a Kafka story or from Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and when she goes through the looking glass. So I enjoyed this and I'm pretty positive that this is a common theme for Dr. Rowe's works. I do want to read more from him. I heard that a lot of people preferred his other works, which I can see that being the case. But I think that Andrew's brain definitely convinced me to go forward with it. 
I give this novel an 8 out of 10, which, if you translate it into Goodreads, it is 4 out of 5. I was teetering around the 3 and 3.5 three and at some point, but because I thought that this was just so refreshing, I bumped it up to a 4, and I would encourage people to go for the ride. And definitely... Uh, read this because there's only so much that I can say and a lot of it is going to be how you perceive the people in this novel and uh, how things go in general. Thank you for watching this review. I hope you keep tuning into our videos and for now, keep reading.